Hello everyone. So this video is going to be about approach to chest x-ray. We already discussed type of view, AP and PA view and identifying them. Now we are going to discuss about exposure, penetration, inspiratory, expiratory film and other features like rotation angulation in a chest x-ray. We'll start first with an over penetrated chest x-ray. This is how over penetrated chest x-ray look. We have two features. The first one is all thoracic vertebra are going to be visible through the hard shadow. Even the bony details are visible. The second thing is because of a darker lung field, there can be obscuration of certain pathologies in a case of over penetrated chest x-ray the second thing is an under penetrated chest x-ray in an under penetrated chest x-ray thoracic vertebra not visible through the heart shadow plus lung tissue that is behind the heart is not going to be seen so obscuration of pathologies that are in that part of the lung so now what is a well penetrated chest x-ray in a well penetrated chest x-ray thoracic vertebra is just visible through the heart shadow but bony details of thoracic vertebra are not visible an inspiratory film talking about inspiratory film we have 9 to 10 posterior ribs which will be easily visible and heart shadow not hidden behind the diaphragm these two are the feature of an inspiratory film in an expiratory film, crowded lung markings are seen because it is taken in expiration, less of the air is present inside lung. So a crowded lung marking may mimic a pseudo air space disease. Plus there is a benefit of this expiratory film, they are taken in less conditions. One of them is pneumothorax because in expiratory film there is a reduced lung volume and this reduced lung volume can show easily a small pneumothorax. Next talking about rotation in an x-ray, so medial ends of the bilateral clavicle are equidistant from the midline or vertebral bodies in a normal chest x-ray. What can happen is rotated film when the spinous process midline yellow line appears closure to the right end of the clavicle. On the other side we can have the midline being shifted towards the left side that is right rotated film. In a normal angulation in chest x-ray, we have two things. The first is clavicle should lie over the third rib and in a proper angulation apex is easily visible. Talking about soft tissue, major soft tissue seen are breast and the soft tissue alongside the breast, the supraclavicular area and the axilla. Talking about bony structure that are seen here highlighted by this yellow color, we have sternum, anterior and posterior rib, vertebral body which is nicely seen in a lateral view along with the spinous process okay as visualized here talking about trachea we can see the airway going down as a radio lucent shadow it can either deviate to left or right in many conditions we can also visualize the left and right main bronchus along with carina we can also comment on the outline of aorta so here we see hilum that is wedge shaped uh, important point is that hilum is a point from where certain lung structure leave the lung. These are important structures including bronchi, pulmonary vein and arteries. One more important point is that left hilar point is always higher than the right hilar point. Next we are going to understand about diaphragm. Diaphragm is uh, dome shaped. Okay, We have right hemi diaphragm and left hemidiaphragm. Contrary to believe that right hemidiaphragm is above because of liver, the fact is that left hemidiaphragm is down because of heart. Because of the size of the heart and gravity, um, gravity pushing the left hemidiaphragm down, left hemidiaphragm is down rather than right hemidiaphragm being above because of liver. Also look for cardiophrenic and costophrenic angle. These angles can be obliterated because of fluid, fat or fibrosis. So now when do you say diaphragm is flattened? In a normal diaphragm, when we draw a line joining the costophrenic angle and cardiophrenic angle and then drawing a perpendicular shown by a red line from center of dome of diaphragm to this line, if this distance comes out to be less than 2.5, it denotes a flattened diaphragm as you see in this image. So here we are talking about zones of the lung. We have two lines here drawn. The red line passes through the anterior inferior end and touching both the second ribs and the blue is going through the same but passing through the fourth rib. The area between this red and blue line is the middle zone. The area above the red line is upper zone and area below the blue line is lower zone. Notice the zones do not correspond to the lung segments.